I'm at the southernmost edge of our studio gardens in one of our new perennial planting beds. Now this perennial bed is in full sun and it's the perfect location for fall garden mums and I'd like to show you some that were sent to us to try by Yoder Brothers out of Ohio. And there are five different cultivars here and they're called the Prophet Series. All of them are more compact or what we call a cushion type uh, mounding growth of the mum so they don't require as much uh, pinching back throughout the growing season and they just grow in more of a mounding form. Now the first two that I want to show you are actually highlighted at Ameriflora 92 and if you remember earlier in the season we went to Ohio, to Columbus, Ohio and visited Ameriflora and we brought you many segments about the horticulture extravaganza. Now keep in mind in the spring they had a different planting season versus a summer and then this fall they highlighted fall mums for kind of a mum festival. And these two were highlighted again and the colors are very nice. This first one is called Linda. And again it gets about 15 to 18 inches so it's a little bit smaller even. And how we receive these were as rooted cuttings earlier in the season. We put them in a greenhouse in containers to get them established and then about five, six weeks ago, put them out here in the garden. This particular one, as it's opening up, has a yellowish creamy color to it, and then more white as it matures. This one is considered an early blooming variety. So is the one next to it, which is called Robin, also again highlighted at Ameriflora. And this one has kind of a rusty bronze color as the buds begin to swell, and then as it opens, more of an orange bronze cast. Again, an early blooming, and you can see the uniformity is very nice on these cultivars. Been real pleased with them so far because we haven't gone in and disbudded or pinched the buds back, which is a process that they do to get them a lot larger. Now the next one is called uh, Lynn, and Lynn is a mid-season blooming, so it's not in total bloom yet. We have various sporadic blooms on it. There's still a lot of buds that aren't open, so it's not as uniform, but I think in another week it will be. And keep in mind, too, that we're taping this segment around the end of September. Now, the last two cultivars are called uh, Megan and Denise. And if you will look at it a little bit more closely, you'll notice that we had a mix-up in the greenhouse and that we actually have three of them in one planting and two in the next one where they really should be grouped together. This one that is uh, kind of a bright lavender color is also an early season blooming variety but it has a yellow center in it. And this one again is Megan and again we have them mixed up and what I've done here is put in some blue flags so as these die down for the winter next spring when it's time to divide the mums We'll put those two over with this planting and get them corrected. Now the other one is Denise, and it's a late blooming cultivar, a little bit taller. And it's, right now it kind of looks like a salmon color, although it's supposed to turn into an orangish color. So we'll keep an eye on that one. And one thing I want to remind you is that once these die down, we'll probably cut the top of the flowers off just so we don't increase disease once they're through blooming. But we'll leave the foliage on, which is recommended by us and many of the growers to leave as an insulation for the root system throughout the winter time. Now, it may not look that showy, but again, it does help insulate the plants through the harsh winter. Then after the last few chances of spring frost, we'll come in and we'll cut the dead foliage out. We'll send up new growth. And what we'll be doing then is pinching them to keep them smaller during the next season. But that's the nice thing about these new varieties is that they are smaller growing. So hopefully next year you'll be able to find some of these same cultivars in your full service retail garden center. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.